Now let's see the types of probability. Now here we have two different types of probability which differs between the experimental probability and the theoretical probability. So let's see each of them, the different types of probability. Experimental and theoretical probabilities. Now as the names itself define clearly experimental and theoretical clearly makes us understand that the initial probability which is called experimental probability is conducted through an experiment. This is through an experiment. Now to come with this experiment I identify that different experiments give different values of probability. Say for example, one of the French mathematician by name Buffon has tossed the coin 4,440 times. If I toss a coin 4,040 times, he could get 2,048 heads. Out of this, he got 2,048 heads. So this is purely an experimental probability because an experiment was conducted in attempting on tossing a coin 4040 times. And then he could get totally on the whole when counted 2048 heads and the rest were all tails. So he calculated on the chances of getting the heads through this experiment counting up to 4040 times of tossing of a coin. So clearly he just did He got the probability as simply 4040 times which he has attempted out of which he got 2048 hats. When divided it gave the value approximately the value as 0 0.507. So this was the value as obtained for an experiment which had 4040 times of tossing of a coin. Now what happens if this number is increased? If I increase up to 10,000 times of tossing of a coin, then definitely the number of heads also change the outcome which we cannot predict. Then when this was divided with this, then this divided with this, then approximately gives the value 0 0.5 etc. But it may not give exactly the value. So such kind of experiments through which we identify the percentage of chances of happening and not happening is called experimental probability. The process of experimenting by tossing number of times and then finding each of the results is called experimental probability. Now what is theoretical probability? Theoretical probability is not done through an experiment of so many times of tossing a coin but we assume that when I toss a coin the possibility is When tossing a coin, the possibility is either getting a head or a tail, where two sides of a coin will give me one head out of two sides and one tail out of two sides. So these are the chances of happening, getting a head or a tail, is how we understand the theoretical probability. The possibility of getting a head is 0 0.5 because one head out of one head and tail, which is two and one tail out of this with this so that I get one head out of head head and tail is two sides which gives me two and one head is one of the head which are right here. Similarly one tail out of one head and one tail is what I get for this. So my experimental probability of the same coin when it is tossed 4040 times gave me 2048 heads makes me understand that the probability is 0 0.507 through the experimental probability and the theoretical probability makes us understand that one head out of two possibilities and one tail out of two possibilities gives me 0 0.5 which is based on the theoretical probability. This is how we differentiate between the theoretical and the experimental probability, the types of probabilities which we have discussed out here. So let's see the theoretical probability in brief because most of the problems in the session 
are related to theoretical probability and hence finding the chance of happening and not happening through theoretical probability. So theoretical probability as we have defined in the previous session has its own definition in the formula which we are going to take here. So let me take first initially the event E which I am going to conduct. Let E be the event. Now the event depends on the situation of the problem. Tossing of a coin is one of the event or playing of a game on the dice. Throwing of a dice is one of the event or picking up a ball from the bag is also one of the event. So different problems have different situations which hence define the events. So in general let E be the event which I am going to find. Then in this case my probability of of happening of an event E is given by so probability of happening of an event E event E can be anything is given by the symbol P of E generally denoted as probability of happening of an event E is given by the formula number of trials in which the event happens number of trials in which the event happen by total number of trials So this is how we define the probability of an event in mathematical formulae. So probability of an event E is number of trials in which the event happen by total number of trials. So let's see how we can use this formula for an example problem. Say tossing of a coin as I have taken for tossing of a coin. I got the total number of events in the event of tossing of a coin the probability of getting a head if that is the event then that is number of total number of trials is either getting a head or a tail being two possibilities and number of trials in which the event happen or getting of a head is one possibility therefore for this using the formula I get probability of head getting a head is 1 by 2 is how we understand. So let's see more examples to understand this formula more better. To start with one of the example problem connecting with the formula. 